Okay guys, as always, please don't feel bad if you're highlighted making a mistake in the video. These are mistakes that everybody made in the game. Um, I've chosen yours simply because we have good camera angles on it. And uh, But honestly, these are mistakes everyone made. We all need to learn from this because these are things that we're doing wrong. Um, uh, so anyhow, in this video, I'm going to show you the three goals we gave up and what went wrong. A couple things to look for is um, our angling. We didn't control the middle of the ice. We gave up the middle of the ice was a big reason on two of the goals. And the third goal, uh, a lot of it boiled down to positioning. So people just getting out of position and it costing us, okay? But before I show you the goals against, I want you to see examples where we did a really good job on our positioning and our angling, okay? So on this clip, I want you to watch wingers especially. I want you to watch Emily in this clip. I want you to see where she goes and how she goes. She pretty much does exactly what we're asking you guys to do. Uh, when you watch it, you're going to see she barely breaks a sweat because she's keeping it simple. She just It's one hard step here, one hard step there, and just anticipating where the puck's going to go. So watch Emily. So here she goes. She is the winger right there. Puck goes in the corner. She's right in the high slot where she belongs. But look at notice that she realizes that this player is wide open in front. And she collapses to the house to help. Because she's one step away. Bang, she's there to break it up. She gets on the defensive side of the puck. Puck goes back in the corner. Emily goes right back to her spot in the high slot. Puck almost squirts out. There's Emily in the high slot, right where she belongs. 100% in the right spot. There's a turnover. This girl's got a good chance. Because Emily's in the right spot, she's one step away from challenging that girl. Breaks up the play, goes right back to her spot. Perfect D. Puck comes out her way. She doesn't take her time. She gets her feet moving hard right off the bat. Strong on her stick, almost clears the zone. Unfortunately, the puck doesn't get out. What does Emily do? She goes back to her spot. Puck goes in the corner. She's back in the high slot. But watch this. She's there. She realizes that that puck could be coming up her boards. She doesn't wait. She starts backing up. Gets to her boards. Puck doesn't come to her, but she's in position. Puck goes the other way. Does Emily just stand there? No. She cuts back to the middle of the ice. Perfect. Puck stays in. Emily. Oh, look Look how early she anticipates that that puck might come up her boards. She knows that that defenseman is probably going to be curling that way. She anticipates. She wins the race. She gets there and then she's in position to win the battle and clear the zone. Guys, that is perfect winger defense. Take away the high slot, be in p position to help, and anticipate when the puck is going to go up your boards and get there first. That is phenomenal defense, okay? Remember that when I show you the goals against, okay? Second one, I want to show Cassie. Now, in this video, Cassie does a really good job of just keeping the middle of the ice, letting the players go wide. There's Cassie right there. She starts to see the person. Where's her stick? Her stick's on the middle of the ice. She's got inside position on that player. Let them go wide. Don't let them come to the middle. She wins the battle. This girl, same thing. She's taking the middle of the ice. Her stick's in the middle of the ice. Girl's got nowhere to go. She tries to come up the middle. Cassie's there to break it up. We always need to control the inside of the ice. You can do that by putting your body inside of the player with the puck. You can also do it by putting your stick on the inside uh, of the ice. Okay, great job. So I want you to remember those two examples, Emily and Cassie, and how they handled those situations. And now let's look at the goals against and what went wrong. So. As always, there's many mistakes on goal. Every goal against, you're going to see lots of mistakes. So here we're breaking out the puck. Starts good. Sophia makes a nice play to the winger. Now one thing here, we're going to work on this in practice. 
The problem here is we have the center and the winger both in the middle of the ice. The winger's too far to the weak side. The center needs to be cutting to the boards. If that center cuts to the boards, it's a soft little pass off the boards and we're breaking it out. We got both players in the same line. The pass manages to get through, but she's got to put it through somebody. Right here. She manages to get it through and we break it out. But because we have no board option, their whole team is playing off the boards. So that's why they win this puck. So they win the puck. Now this is their best player right here. But even though we made a little mistake on the breakout, we're still in pretty good position. Okay, their best player has it, but she has it on the backhand. We got lots of players in the middle of the ice, okay? Now, couple problems. Number one, way too big of a gap. Right now, with that puck inside your blue, blue line, you should be like a stick length away. So Ellie should be a good five feet closer to the player, okay? When you leave a big gap like that, you're giving her space to cut to the middle, okay? Now this girl's on her backhand. If we hold the middle of the ice, best case, she's gonna skate wide and take a backhand shot from somewhere near this face-off dot. Girls, almost no girls in your loop are gonna be able to score on their backhand from the face-off dot, okay? Give them the outside, take away the middle. Now Ellie's got her stick on the inside, which is good. She's positioned on the inside, which is good but the gap is a little too big. Um, Sophie do, doing a pretty good job trying to hold the middle, which is pretty good, but we let her in with that gap. And then the critical mistake is we have all three players come to the puck. And that puts us in a bad spot because now you've got two people crashing the net on their team. And it's in, okay? Now this is something North York did a lot better than us. They crashed the net with their knees bent and their stick on the ice and they got rewarded from it. But it's a preventable goal. We made a few mistakes. We made a mistake on the breakout by not getting a center to the boards. Um, we made a mistake by giving them the inside of the ice. We made a mistake with gap control. And then we made a mistake by all players going to the same player and not watching the person going to the net like four or five mistakes on this play. If we can cut down on one of those mistakes, probably not a goal on this play. So we just gotta clean it up a little bit, right? All right, let's look at goal number two. Now goal number two is almost a replay of goal number one. All right, again, their fastest player. Better gap control though now. Ellie's doing a really good job, keeping her wide. Now this girl's fast, she's tough, but we got her on her backhand, we got a great back check by Sophie Cole. We got the inside of the ice, but we make the mistake of over pursuing. Both players, sticks on the wrong side. Again, we have three players coming to one, leaving the net, okay? Someone's gotta watch that front of the net. And what happens? We give away the middle, and it's gonna be a goal. The girl's got a good shot. But this is preventable, right? This is preventable. We do so many things well here. We back check. The gap control is better. You know, Ellie could be moving a little quicker, but we're still in good shape here. We got the back check, but everyone collapses on the puck, and most critically, we give the middle. If we keep that girl wide, again, best case, she's getting a backhander from the faceoff dot, and it ain't going in. But you give up the middle, now she's on her forehand. Now she's in the high slot. She can shoot to either post. Zoe's got to also move because the girl's cutting in and she picks the corner. Again, preventable goal. We have to control the middle of the ice. The faster the player you're covering, the more important it is to protect the middle of the ice. Let's look at the third goal. Now the third goal, there's a lot that goes wrong on this too. There's always a lot of mistakes on goals. So right off the bat, what happens? To get it first of all actually the ref made a mistake on this play because this is actually offside watch this boom offside Whoot. ref misses it i think the ref was looking at this player and didn't see the backdoor player i was right on the blue line so i could see it but anyhow doesn't matter refs make mistakes too right so there's a mistake there so what went wrong here so we're still in pretty good shape look we're breaking the puck out 
maybe we anticipate a little late we're, we're kind of out of position but notice how all five of the players are all close up to the puck out of position right now our weak side winger should be over here right play gets broken up now so right off the bat we're out of position our wingers are way too high and we're not anticipating because right now you know there's a good chance that that pucks could go up those boards you need to hustle and get to your spot also defense making a mistake here because we don't need to rim this puck you got lots of time to take a look no need to panic we are much more successful when we take our time so again we panic we rim it when we don't need to and we the wingers out of position and late to the party we're not anticipating that that puck could go up those boards so we're late they have time now watch this all five players end up out of position this winger's too high needs to be in the high slot look how open that high slot is right now okay now that fortunately they didn't see the high slot they take a shot but everyone's out of position no weak side winger no strong side winger Ariana is the one person who's probably close to being in position both D play the puck nobody watches the person in front we don't have a weak side winger there to help and it's a goal literally on this goal pretty much we got five people out of position okay so that's it positioning so what do I want you guys to do please go back to the beginning of the video watch Emily's clip watch Cassie's clip wingers pay careful attention to the fact that Emily's not even working that hard on the play she's in her spot she's being patient she's paying attention she notices when someone's open in front of the net she notices when the puck might go to her boards and when she needs to move quickly she's moving quickly but she's probably using less energy than you are when you're running all around the ice okay watch the video again and again because if we do that right we are going to a lot of these these three goals probably aren't goals okay and we were doing this in other points in the game too it wasn't just here where the wingers were running around we were running around a bit we weren't taking away the high slot and we weren't anticipating getting to our boards okay so those two things for defense and forwards also remember we always want to control the middle of the ice when we push them wide we're really tough to score against especially when they're on their backhand so keep them on their backhand and keep them wide let's hold the middle of the ice good news three preventable goals a couple minor tweaks and all three of those goals don't happen okay and they're shut out again so guys let's clean it up let's tighten up in those areas and uh, we will be a lot more successful so keep going watch the next video there's gonna be a lot of them this week